creating dust, smoke and fire effects in 3D is one of the most challenging tasks of today. Welcome to Thinking Particle Subscription Drop 2. In this feature video, we will have a look how to create fume effects in Thinking Particles. Let's dive right into the scene. The scene is a pretty simple setup. We have one mesh object, a light and a camera. So nothing really too complex here. And we also have a particle generator underneath this object. So we have a rising smoke or rising fumes here in our scene. This object is uh, representing a grid, a very fine grid where we want to see if we can manage to get our fume effects through the grid. And indeed it's working. If you wanted to create this kind of effect, for example, with a grid based solver, you would have a really hard time. Because of this fine raster, these little tiny holes, your grid you had to adjust to simulate the fumes would be insanely high and it would cost a lot of memory and a lot of rendering time. Not with Thinking Particles Subscription Drop 2. Our new Smoke Solver is a water based system. It uses particles and it has a hybrid approach where we also use a grid to stabilize and accelerate rendering. Let me now reduce our raster size so that you can see our grid really has an influence on the actual smoke. So let me reset that. You just play back and as you can see, there is no need to do a simulation pass. There is no need for you to go out and buy some extra hard drives where you can store your smoke simulations. It just works instantly in real time in Thinking Particle 6. So we did adjust the raster and you can see instantly the behavior, the effect on our smoke simulation. Let me bring that uh, back to a much more finer raster so that we get really tiny little holes and let's see if we can get our smoke and fume effect through these tiny holes. Here you can see the power of our new smoke solver in Thinking Particle Subscription Drop 2. It handles these fine details, these fine holes really well and you see the nice stream of fumes rising up. This is possible because we use a particle based approach. No memory needed and you get the results in real time. Now let's have a look how we did the setup in Thinking Particle 6. The setup was created really simple. We have a particle generator dynamic set where we just have a point three that gives us the position and we have a position born that creates the actual particles. And now to the real magic, that's our new set of smoke solver operators. We have operators to control the smoke behavior, the rendering, the colors and the solver itself. And talking about cool thinking particles, Subscription Drop 2 gives you full control over the smoke and fume effects. In fact, it has really amazing, simple controls. And let me just show you a few simple settings we can adjust here. I'm now going to change the linear viscosity. And the linear viscosity is responsible for the behavior, the fluid behavior and we reduce it and now you see we get a much more coarser mixed up smoke behavior with a lot of worlds inside of the smoke behavior. So the long strands, the isolated strands, they are now gone and they mix up nicely with each other. And that's just by changing one settings. Now I'm increasing the friction, the air friction. That will stop the fumes much faster and it will uh, mix them up even much faster. So you get more interaction, more worlds happening here. Once more, it was just one setting and you get real time feedback. Now let me adjust another setting. We're going to adjust the influence radius of our vorticity effects. So I did just increase that a little bit and you can see it reaches now much 
further and we get a totally different look. And that's the beauty of Thinking Product Subscription Drop 2. You have instant feedback, you see instantly what's happening, what's going on with your fume effects. And if you wanted to render those, that's also possible. You can use a scanline renderer or any other renderer to render these kind of effects and you can control it right from inside of 3D Studio Max and Thinking Particles. I hope you enjoyed this video and check out our other videos as well that discuss the new Smoke Solver. Thank you for watching this video.